Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric, and I just did a video on how good of a season Robbie Ray had, the now free agent, one of the hottest guys on the market for teams to be able to get their hands on. This one is going to be on Corbin Burns and how stellar of a season he had to be able to win the Cy Young going 11-5, and five, having a 2-4-3 ERA after having a career 3-3-9 ERA and being a solid pitcher all in all his entire career. His only bad stint was in 2019. Winning 32 games, he had an 8.82, very ugly ERA. That's brought up his entire career ERA. He was in 30 games as a 23-year-old, he had a 2.61. And in only 12 games in 2020, he had a 2.11. So he's been a very steady, eddy, solid pitcher, minus that 2019 season his entire career. And obviously, he immensely broke out this season and had an absolutely ballistic season and was absolutely ridiculous and he was the leader in the major league leader in ERA strikeout rate strikeout to walk ratio and barrel rate where his ERA was 2.43 his strikeout rate was 35.6 and his strikeout to walk ratio um was 6.88 with a FIP of 1.63 and a barrel rate of only 2.9% 2.9 freaking percent people are barreling it up. Now, people say, obviously, that the Zach Wheelers of the world, like my fellow Phillies fan, he pitched more deeper into games and had to be more of an anchor of a staff where the Brewers have a deeper staff. That is all true. What would have happened if Zach, or not Zach Wheeler, if Corbin Burns had to be taxed more and used more where that's not what Craig Council does because they have a stellar bullpen compared to the Phillies? But the Dodgers don't have a stellar bullpen, and he still outbeat, or do have a stellar bullpen also, I mean, and he still outbeat Max Scherzer, who I thought, honestly, would do better in the All-Star and the Cy Young race himself, to be quite honest, um, but he broke their 39-year drought, it was, narrowly taking the Cy Young Award from the Philly, Zach Wheeler, who came in a very close second place, he broke a 39-year drought, it's been a while for the Brewers, who now have a very solid, obviously one of the better rotations in baseball, that's for damn sure, and Corbin Burns is a huge part of it, only has had a blimp in his career in 2019, he's been a hell of a player his entire career otherwise, and this season is just the pinnacle of his career thus far, and with the stuff he has and the ability he has, and especially combined with the fact that Corbin Burns is also, at this point, only 27 years old of age. I feel like he would definitely have a chance to win another one of these bad boys and capture another Cy Young, just like the close second-place finisher, Zach Wheeler, has a very good chance in his future to be able to capture a Cy Young as well. But he did not get it this year. He came in a close second. Corbin Burns earned this Cy Young, bra or not breaking all the records, but having all the key pitching stats you would want to have, obviously, leading in ERA, strikeout rate, strikeout to walk ratio, FIP, and barrel rate. He just continued to absolutely crush it after an absolutely bonkers start in the first two months of the season. That continued his success, and he earned that Cy Young because of that. So this has been a reaction to Corbin Burns' absolutely bonkers season after a great start to his career. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Subscribe down below on the subscribe button if you enjoy the content and have not subscribed yet or on the easy-to-use widget up above, as well as that Steel Flyers and some more baseball and especially hockey content and more all-sports content. Peace out, everybody.